These red herrings are popping up left and right. They're all secret plots, okay? Like the thing with the the MAGA, with the American Indian, and you had the brother, I think his name is uh, Ephraim. Chief Ephraim, right. And by their secret plots. By their secret plots. And popular persuasions. That's their media. Their media is a popular persuasion. Why? Because most people believe what they see on TV, what they see on the news. I believe it. Don't. Read it again. And by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions. They try to stir up a commotion to get people against us. Go ahead. They hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. Yes, but they're not going to hit the gas. This is going to keep going all the time. Everybody understand that? It's a price to Hey, Shalom Officer Yohani. All right, so I'm glad y'all got some history so far, but what we're going to go over now is some laws because I know you told me you're Catholic yeah. and you have uh, that Christianity spirit on you. What about you? Christian. Christian. Y'all still go to church, right? Right. What church you go to? First Baptist. First Baptist. What about you? What Catholic church you go to? What about you? I don't go to church. Good, good. So the reason why the brother was telling you do not go to church is because they've been lying to you. Like, for example, do you believe that God loves everybody? You say he loves everybody? So you still believe that? Does God love everybody? Yeah. God love everybody? Not according to the scripture. Bring it up. Say that again. Not according to the scripture. Not according to the scripture. So we're gonna go ahead and get um give me John 316. So is that what is that what you believe that God loves everybody? Because. Because what? The reason why I say God loves everybody is when you wake up man in the morning when you sleep. When you wake up in the morning, you thank God that I wake up. Right. You can be sleeping, you know, just be dead. Right, right. So when God give you food and give you job and give you some sense, send somebody to your life. Right, right. To help you, it's just only God. Okay, okay. You that, yeah. Well, let's, I'm going to read it from the scriptures because you read the King James Version, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get this from the scriptures because... You probably believe that God loves everybody based off of this scripture. Read it. The book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it up. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that's where you believe that God loves everybody, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Okay. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So with that scripture, a lot of our people are brainwashing and thinking that God loves everybody. But let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. From the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning because uh, y'all y'all read the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Old Testament? Right. Good. Let's, let's stay there. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're going to set the precedence for what God said from the beginning, okay? It's going to carry all the way through. All right? Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God right here, y'all pay attention. God is talking to the Israelites. All right. right. You say you was on this side, y'all identified as being on this side. Uh, yeah. So he's talking to us in the wilderness with Moses. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose this race of people right here, the Israelites, we the you three to be a special people, all right? Now, if you're saying it's a special people, that means automatically there's a difference between you and other people. That's right. Because if everybody's special, then nobody's special. You understand what I'm saying? If, if everybody was Superman, wouldn't, wouldn't nobody be suit like, everybody be, um, what was it? Be normal, yeah, exactly. Let's go. To be a special people unto himself above all people. That's the key right there. God said, the nation of Israel will be above all other nations. Where? Upon the face of the earth. Upon the face. No, we don't smoke, bro. We don't. We don't do that. Upon the face of the earth. Stay around. I'm gonna get you with that smoke too. I'm gonna help you out with it. All right. 
but on the face of the earth. That's why God can't love everybody because he chose one people to be above everybody. That's right. All right. Let's give the um, Isaiah 40 and 15. We're going to further prove that. All right. And then we'll go back to John 3, 16 and show you the true meaning of what that means. Okay. okay. So remember, God said that you... You and you are above every other nation, right. above all the, the right. Arabs, East Indians, the white people, Japanese, yeah. Chinese, same old, same old. We're above everybody. That's what God said. Right. Go. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 15. All right. Yeah. This, is, this is said from God from the old times. Go ahead. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So God compared all the other nations outside of here, the ones that are below us, to what? Are as a drop of a bucket. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. So God said that they're dropped, they're dropped from a bucket. So if you have a bucket and you was walking and a little drop falls out, are you going to lose your mind over it? No. No, why not? Because it's a little drop. It doesn't mean nothing to you. That's you have right. plenty more in that bucket. That's right. So read that part again. And remember, this is what God said about all the other nations, okay? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So the, the so-called white man, Arab, East Indian, all of them are as a drop of a bucket to the Most High God. Go ahead. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. A very little thing. Go to verse 17. Verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. God said all those nations that we just spoke about are what? They're nothing, okay? Go ahead. So they don't have nothing to do with him, okay? Read that last part again. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So I want to drill that into your head. God said that from the beginning that the other nations weren't meant to be with us. Now give me uh, Malachi 3 and 6. Now, y'all got to remember, I'm saying this over and over so y'all can understand that we're coming right off the Bible. Now y'all say y'all go to church, right? They're not reading this to you in your church. Am I right? Because you never heard these scriptures that, that I'm bringing out and my brother just brought out. Let's keep that in mind. Now, why is that? The other brother said that it's a, it's a plot against us right. to keep us in a low state. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not reading to you that you're the greatest nation on the earth. The earth. That's why they're going to tell you that you're equal when you we just read that there's no equality in the Bible. Right. You hear that? Keep going. The book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. It's it about God. It's about the Most High. Let's go. For I am the Lord. I change not. God said he does not change. Right. right? Read that again. For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob. The sons of Jacob are the children of Israel, so he's speaking to us. Keep going. Are not consumed. So that's why we're not consumed, because he cares about us. Understand that? So that's the thing about it. I want you to understand that God does not deal with everybody, that we're not going to be equal to everybody, and we're supposed to be above. Understand that? Now give me um, give me Amos. Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. So does God love everybody? No. He loves everybody. He loves everybody? Everybody, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's read this. Let's read this. Let's read this. What do you say? Not according, Not according to the scripture. Let's go. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? The children of the Israel mean that it's us. So? so it's a Jesus, it's us. So I mean, you know, we bond, we bond like an eco, you know, just come and this is, world. Is everybody a children of Israel? A child of Israel? So who, who are the, um, who are the Ammonites? Who are the Moabites? No, no, these are nations. Go to, go to Genesis 10. Go to Genesis 10 real quick. Because, hey brother, I'm going to work with you because the thing is, I don't think you understand that God made 18 nations in the Bible. Just like just like we would say the Chinese would be one nation, the Japanese would be another nation, the so-called African American would be a nation, so on and so forth. So God made 18 nations. When I just told you that you descend from one of the nations, he made you separate. All right? Read that. Uh, start at verse... What is one? Yeah, that's it. The book of Genesis chapter 10 and verse 1. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah. So the generations are talking Noah. about Noah. You understand Noah, right? Yeah, Noah. From that, we all come from, okay? We're going to be separated through his three sons. All right. So we're not going to be the same after that. Keep going. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And so, so Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So who did Israel come from? 
What line did he come from? Did he come from Shem, Ham, or Japheth? He come from Shem. All right. So is everybody a Shemite on the world? No. Why? Because we are different. We come from the exactly. So that's why you know that every nation is not the same. Now, you want to get me um, Jacob and Esau real quick. Genesis 20, 20, 25, 21. Uh, We're going to start there because that's, I'm going to tell you that we're all not the same nation. All right. So you said you came from what part of Africa? From Togo. We speak French. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Now, what was your? Is your father from there too? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Read it. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So Rebecca had conceived, all right? Right, all right, you remember this, okay, there. You, yeah, you familiar, you familiar with the story? Oh, bro. And the children struggled together within her. So the children, the two boys, the two boys were struggling, right? What did it say? And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she wept, and she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations! Two what? Two nations! Two what? Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So it said two manner of people, two different nations will be separated. So that kills the notion that we're all one nation. Right. There's no such thing as everybody being the same nation. See? We're different nations. You right. don't come from Esau. You don't come from the Arabs. You come from, Lord, where you come from, uh, from the Shem line, according to Israel, okay? Now give me Isaiah 45 and 17, because like I said before, the Old Testament is a bunch of prophecies. That some have been fulfilled, some have yet to be fulfilled, all right? So when the New Testament comes, it's no confusion. No confusion because the Old Testament is not done away with. The only thing that was done away with was the law of animal sacrifice. Right, right. That's it, all right? All these, there's a lot of prophecies in Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel that have not been fulfilled yet, so we can't throw it away. Bring it out. God says once it's said, it has to come to pass. Right, right. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. Now I want you to listen very close, closely because um, this Get is a up. prophecy that was talked about in John 3.16. All right? Listen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. It said, who's going to be saved in the Lord? Yeah. Israel, right? Yeah. Key. That's very key. Go ahead. With an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed. I'm saying, it says it's going to be an everlasting salvation. Bring it up. So who's going to get salvation, an uh, everlasting salvation? Israel, right? Did he save the whole world? No. Who did he say? Israel. All right, read from the top. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World. Hold on. It said Israel's going to be a what? World. Israel's a whole what? World without end. Now I want you to go back to John 3.16 because what you just heard right there was the prophecy that was spoken about in John 3.16. So when you hear that, that, that Israel was that world, when you get back to John 3.16, it's going to make all the sense in the world. Okay? The book of John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Who is that word he's talking about? No, 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 read that part again. Read the first part. For God so loved the world. What, what, what world is it? What world? Hey, give me another reader. Go say here. Give me another reader and give me Isaiah 45, 17. We're going to work. We're going to Thank you. I got to Are you good? We're going to go slow with this, all right? Because I know you got a, you got that, that Catholic spirit on you. You believe that the white man is your friend, right? Is that what it is? Are, are you married? Is uh is your is your wife is she a so called Caucasian? I mean, you know, I've been married since I'm on back home. But my kids, I have a three kids. They die accidentally. They died accidentally. Yeah, they is, died. Is three, your, all of them. Is the mother the children? Or is, or is she no, a no, Caucasian? The mother, no, the mother leave me because they, they, Do you have a Caucasian she friend? She will say that no. She will say that it was my uncle's story. Right, right, right. Mistake and then. You know, okay, was, so it was something who, horrible. Who is married yet? Who is the Caucasian in your life? Like, do you got a Caucasian friend that you're dealing with? Yeah, yeah. Best I have, friend. I have, a, I have a Nigerian woman. 
Nigerian, she's she a white woman? Okay. Okay. No, no, she's not white. So do you have any white friends? That's what I'm asking. No, I have not. Is your pastor white? No, no, I mean, when my wife passed away, right, right. So I respect that, then I'm waiting for them. I'm ready to okay, die. okay. We can repeat it. So she does not allow me because she said that it was my fault. Right. Because I live in where well, I live in back home. Uh, where well, I live in back home, 2002, and they communicated me okay. on the phone yeah. that my my kid has died. That time I was in Seven Eleven. Right. It was a snow time so, in December. So so, so bro. So did accidentally. So your your kid died. But, but kid what, died, what I'm asking is die. is your is your pastor a white man? Okay, no, I want to try, but you know, I don't want to choose to them because you don't want to deal with. It? Hold on, so I you mean, don't, you mean, like white people? Is that what it is? No, 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 it's not that the, way. We're gonna get to this real quick. Just, just listen, because remember, read that part, John three sixteen. The book of John, chapter three and verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And you said, what world is that? God has, uh, given what, what world is that that he said? Is that everybody or is that the world of Israel? I mean, uh, he gave me his son. Uh, right, no, I understand his son. Give me Acts, uh, was it 3, 19 or 3? Acts 3, 19. That's repent. That's repent. Now yeah. give me the one, um, uh, yeah, yeah. 220, yeah, 221, yeah. Yeah, so you said Christ came for the whole world, right? Yeah, he came from the world. Let's get it, let's get it. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Who's he speaking to? He said, no, he was speaking that who has called a way, a way, Lord name shall be saved. Shall be saved so who's he talking to? Word. Who's he talking to? I think he's talking to Jesus. He's talking to no, 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 listen again, listen, listen. Because this is when Christ is gone at this time. This is okay, Acts. Okay. All right, read it again. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. So whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So shall be saved. Now let's see who he's talking to. Yeah. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. He said, ye men of Israel, hear these words, the people on the sign. So who is he speaking to about the whosoever? I mean, he's, he's talking to Israel and uh, amen and uh, It said and, it just said Israel. Yeah. That's that's the thing about it, bro. You got a, you got a mental block right there. You, you're fighting against what God is saying. God is saying, go back to 316. God is saying that the world is only for Israel. Right. Plainly, all throughout the scripts. But you keep fighting it. But I understand you, you're in Catholic Church. They do a good job of brainwashing our people. You know why? Because they hate our people. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth